Welcome to Valuation, Income Capitalization Approach. This video was sponsored by Three Wise Teachers and created by Samara Shakir. The income capitalization approach is based on calculating the present value of future rights to income. Here are the five factors. First, estimate the potential annual gross income. Next, deduct the appropriate allowance for vacancy slash rent losses. Now deduct the annual operating expenses. Estimate the potential annual gross income. And finally, apply the capitalization rate to the property's annual net operating income to get the estimated property value. Now that we identified the steps involved, let's look at the formula. Net operating income divided by the capitalization rate equals the estimated property value. It is important to remember that the formula can be transformed to find any of these three values. The estimated property value, the capitalization rate, or the income, as long as you have at least two of the values. When solving these problems, it helps to look at it from a vertical perspective. Annual gross income minus vacancy and collections equals the effective gross income less the operating expenses, which equals the net operating income. Now let's try solving a problem. Steve wants to purchase a 10-unit building where the rent is $2,000 per month per unit. The property has a 5% vacancy and collection rate, a management fee of 10% of the effective gross income, property taxes of $25,000, a debt to service of $35,000, and an operating expense of $110,000. What is the net operating income for this property? It is important to make sure that you take the important information from the problem and list it below, such as the number of units, vacancy and collections, property taxes, monthly rent, management fee, and operating expenses. The management fee, the vacancy and collection fees, and the annual gross income all need to be calculated. The annual gross income can be calculated by taking the monthly rent and multiplying it by the number of units times 12 months. For this problem, it's $2,000 per month times 10 units times 12 months, which equals $240,000. Vacancy and collection can be calculated by taking the AGI, multiplying that by the vacancy and collection rate, which equals the vacancy and collections. For this problem, it's $240,000 multiplied by 5%, which equals $12,000. The management fee can be calculated by taking the AGI and multiplying by the management fee rate to get the management fee. In this problem, that's $240,000 multiplied by 10%, which equals $24,000. Now it's time to calculate the net operating expenses. It's $100,000 of operating expenses plus $25,000 of property tax, $22,800 for the management fee, to get a total net operating expenses of $157,800. Now it's time to put everything together. So that's the gross income of $240,000 minus the vacancy and collection of $12,000, which gives you an effective gross income of $228,000. Then you subtract $157,800 for operating expenses to get a net operating income of $70,000. What is the net operating income for this property? Now that we have calculated the net operating income, it is easy to calculate what the estimated property value is based on whatever capitalization rate is given. For example, let's calculate the estimated property value for Steve's property using a capitalization rate of 10%. So that would be $72,000 divided by the 10%. For more videos like this, visit us at www.learntestpass.com.